The Differences Between God's Voice and Your Thoughts In the sacred quest to discern the voice of the Holy Spirit amidst the clamor of our thoughts, we embark upon a profound journey of faith. As we gather here today, let us remember the words of Proverbs 3 to 5, 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. The scripture reminds us that we must trust in the Lord and not solely rely on our limited understanding. We live in a world filled with distractions and temptations that can cloud our judgment, making it challenging to discern God's voice. Yet God yearns to communicate with us. In John 10, 27, Jesus says, My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. So how can we differentiate between God's voice and our thoughts? First, we must cultivate a heart attuned to God's Word through prayer and scripture study. As Psalm 119.105 declares, Your Word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Furthermore, we should seek the fruits of the Spirit as described in Galatians 5.22.23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. When our thoughts align with these qualities, it is more likely that we are hearing the Holy Spirit's guidance. As we delve deeper into this topic, remember the promise of James 1.5. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. In our pursuit of discernment, let us trust in God's wisdom and guidance to help us differentiate between His voice and our thoughts. Amen. This journey of understanding is essential for as Proverbs 14, 12 teaches us, there is a way that appears to be right, but in the end, it leads to death. Our hearts and minds can deceive us, but the Holy Spirit leads us to truth in life. We face a challenge, brethren, akin to walking through a misladen path, discerning the light of God's voice amidst the shadows of our thoughts. The Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians 2, 14 reminds us, the person without the Spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God, but considers them foolishness and cannot understand them because they are discerned only through the Spirit. It is by the Spirit we discern the truth. Yet we must be vigilant against a spiritual snare, often referred to as religious OCD. This ailment, not of the body but of the Spirit, leads us into an endless labyrinth of doubts and compulsions mistaking our relentless thoughts for the promptings of the Holy Spirit. It clouds our discernment, steering us away from the peace that Philippians 4 to 7 promises, the peace of God that transcends all understanding. Let us therefore earnestly seek the wisdom James 1 5 speaks of. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. In humbly seeking his wisdom, we learn to distinguish the voice of God from the echoes of our minds, walking in a path illuminated by His truth. Brethren, the Holy Spirit does not speak in the tempest of confusion or the whirlwind of anxiety, but rather, as 1 Kings 19.12 describes, in a gentle whisper. This whisper, soft yet clear, resonates with the peace that surpasses all understanding, a peace promised in Philippians 4.7. The voice of the Holy Spirit guides us into all truth, offering clarity and wisdom amid life's crossroads. In stark contrast, the desires of the flesh often clamor for our attention, enticing us with immediate gratification and earthly pleasures. Galatians 5.17 warns us, For the flesh desires what is contrary to the spirit, and the spirit what is contrary to the flesh. These two forces are in constant opposition, making it crucial for us to discern which voice we heed. To truly discern the voice of the Holy Spirit, we must cultivate a heart of stillness and a spirit of obedience. It is in this posture of humble listening that we begin to differentiate the fleeting whispers of our human desires from the eternal truths spoken by the Spirit. Let us therefore commit to this spiritual discipline, drawing closer to God as we learn to discern His voice amidst the cacophony of our thoughts. Let us delve into the biblical foundation found in John 3, particularly in the context of hearing the Holy Spirit. In John 3, Jesus speaks to Nicodemus about the necessity of being born again, saying in verse 6, Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the Spirit gives birth to spirit. 
This profound truth illuminates the innate spiritual senses granted to us upon our spiritual rebirth. Just as we are born with natural senses to interact with our physical world, so too are we endowed with spiritual senses to perceive and understand the things of the Spirit. The things Jesus further illustrates this concept in John 3 to 8. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with everyone born of the Spirit. Here Christ likens the movement of the Spirit to the wind. Unseen, yet its presence and effects are undeniable. This metaphor beautifully captures the essence of how we, as believers, experience the Holy Spirit's guidance, subtly yet surely. The Apostle Paul reiterates this in 1 Corinthians 2.12, saying, We have not received the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, that we may understand what God has freely given us. This passage assures us that our spiritual senses, gifted by the Holy Spirit, are essential for discerning God's will and distinguishing His voice from our thoughts. Therefore, let us embrace these spiritual senses with faith and humility, knowing that through them, the Holy Spirit guides us into all truth, contrasting the often fleeting and contradictory nature of our fleshly thoughts. Now let us delve into the key principles for discernment rooted in the Holy Scriptures. Firstly, consider the stability and consistency of God's voice. In Hebrews 13 to 8, it is affirmed, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. This unwavering nature of God's voice stands in stark contrast to the ever-changing whims of our human thoughts. God's voice is a constant anchor, providing guidance and truth amidst life's fluctuating circumstances. Secondly, the guiding nature of God's voice contrasts sharply with the pushiness of the flesh. As Galatians 5, 16 to 17 teaches us, walk by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. The Spirit leads us with a gentle hand, not with the impulsive, demanding urges of our fleshly desires. This gentle guidance is a hallmark of the Holy Spirit's influence in our lives. Thirdly, there is the principle of alignment with God's Word. As 2 Timothy 3, 16 to 17 states, all scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. The voice of God never contradicts His Word, but rather complements and clarifies it, leading us deeper into His truths. Furthermore, God's voice speaks from peace, not fear or anxiety. In John 14, 27, Jesus offers us peace, saying, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. The Holy Spirit communicates in a manner that calms our fears, not exacerbates them, offering tranquility in place of turmoil. Lastly, there is the affirmation of our identity in Christ. Romans 8:16 confirms, the Spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. The voice of God consistently affirms our identity and our worth in him, unlike our thoughts that may waver in doubt and insecurity. Now let us discuss the practical steps to cultivate this discernment. Our guide remains the Holy Word, and we aim to deepen our relationship with the Holy Spirit. Firstly, let us heed the counsel of James 4.8. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. To recognize the Holy Spirit's guidance, we must first seek closeness with him. This intimacy is fostered through prayer, a dialogue not just of request, but of listening and stillness. As we quiet our hearts, we create space for the Holy Spirit to speak. Secondly, immerse yourself in the scriptures. For Psalm 119.12.105 declares, your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. The word of God is not only instructive, but illuminative, revealing the character and will of God, thereby sharpening our ability to discern his voice. Furthermore, practice obedience in the small things. Luke 16.10 teaches, whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. By responding to the Holy Spirit in the daily, seemingly insignificant decisions, our sensitivity to his voice grows and our discernment is refined. Also, seek fellowship and counsel with believers. For Proverbs 27, 17 reminds us, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. The community of faith provides a platform for mutual encouragement and accountability, aiding us in distinguishing the Spirit's voice. Lastly, be patient and persistent. Discernment is a skill honed over time 
not overnight. As Galatians 6, 9 encourages, let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. In embracing these practical steps, let us grow in our discernment, attuning our hearts and minds to the subtle yet profound voice of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please support the channel by liking, commenting, and sharing this video. And may God grant you all your good heart desires as you do so in Christ's name. Amen.